Hello, thank you for joining me at Read Aloud EDU. We have another Meet Your World book. You are a garter snake. Shed, swim, bask, bend, flick, stretch, slither, twist. By Lori Ann Thompson, illustrated by Jay Fleck. Are you ready to be a garter snake? There's the title page. You are a garter snake. You have just been born. You push, push, and poke at your birth sack. At last, you break free and breathe your first breath. Push, poke, and breathe like a garter snake. Your mother is nearby, but you and your siblings are ready to live on your own. So right when they're born, they're ready to be on their own. You stretch, 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 stretch. Then slither slowly across the grass. Stretch and slither. Can you slither like a garter snake? Your skin feels too tight. Ooh, what happens? You rub your nose against a stone. Rub. You bend your body around a branch. What's happening? You shed your old skin. Ah, yes, that feels better. Rub, bend, shed. Look. He's shedding by taking off his coat. Now it's time to hunt. You flick your tongue to sniff the air. That's cool. Sniffing with your tongue. You crane your neck so you can see better. Something moves. You peer through the reeds. Can you flick, crane, and peer? like a garter snake? What does it see? A worm. You strike. Yum. The sides of your jaws bite to haul the worm in whole. You swallow. Yum. Strike. Bite. Haul. Swallow. After a nice meal, you want to rest. You wriggle onto a rock and bask in the sun. Ooh, I like to do that. Watch out. That turtle looks hungry. Ooh, the turtle might eat the snake. Rest, wriggle, bask like a garter snake. The days get shorter and colder. It's autumn. You need to find a den for the winter, but it is getting harder to move. You creep. You crawl. You carry on. You can do it. The snake is looking tired. Creep. Crawl. Carry on. Keep going. You may find snakes outside a hole in the ground. You all slide inside. Wow! Coil into a cozy spot and rest. Slide, coil, rest. Sometimes you get too cold, so you squeeze down deeper in the den. I'm going to try to get warmer. Oh, when you feel warm, you squirm back up. On warmer days, you come right out and slumber in the sun. Ooh, nice. Squeeze, squirm, slumber. Resting and sleeping under the sun. Finally, it is spring. Yay! You slip out of the den. You dip your mouth into a puddle. Ah, you sip up drink after drink of water. Ah, you're ready to go back to your pond. Slip through, dip, 
Oh, they're dipping a cookie. And sip. We know how to sip. It's good to be home, but one day you see a shadow. <gasps> a hawk. You freeze. You flatten. Oh, I hope it doesn't get me. <gasps> it got me. You flail as it grabs you and flies away. Freeze. Flatten. Flail. Trying to get free. Oh, look. You spray smelly, slippery musk from a gland near your tail. That's cool. You twist your body this way and that. It works. The hawk drops you. You hide in the tall grass. You are safe once more. Spray, twist, hide. Every day you stalk through the grass hunting for slugs. You sneak through the reeds hunting for frogs. You swim through the water hunting for fish. Stalk, sneak, swim. You eat, you grow, you shed over and over again because you are a girder snake. Here are some fun facts about garter snakes. Garter snakes can be found across most of North America, even in big cities. Have you ever seen one? Baby garter snakes take care of themselves from the moment they're born without any help from their parents. Snakes don't have ears, but they do have bones inside their heads that sense vibrations in the ground. This is similar to the way people hear by feeling vibrations in the air. Snakes use their tongues for smelling. When a snake flicks out its tongue, it picks up scents from the air. Then it presses its tongue against a special organ on the roof of its mouth to sort out the odors. That's really neat. Garter snakes have four rows of teeth, but they don't chew their food. Instead, the sides of their jaws work one at a time to pull food into their throats until they can swallow it. Snakes need water, but they don't drink like people. A snake's lower jaw acts like a sponge, soaking up water so the snake can drink. So it soaks it up like a sponge. Snakes, like other reptiles, can't create much of their own body heat. Their bodies are the same temperature as the air and ground around them. They do like to be warm, though, which is why they spend so much time basking in the sun. Garter snakes may keep growing their whole lives. Experts can count the rings on the tailbone of a garter snake skeleton to tell how old it was. They can live up to around 20 years. That's longer than I thought. A garter snake may travel as far as 20 miles to reach its winter home. Well, that explains why they have to carry on. That's a long way. It may be inside an old animal den, anthill, tree stump, rock pile, or small cave. In Manitoba, Canada, around 15,000 garter snakes spend each winter inside a limestone cavern about the size of a living room. In the spring, they all come out around the same time. Can you imagine 15,000 snakes coming out for spring? And here's the big words, bask, to relax and warm one's body, birth sack, a clear thin bag surrounding a garter snake at birth, musk, a smelly liquid made by some animals, and shed, to lose or take off a natural covering such as skin or fur, or your coat like that boy did. Thank you so much for reading. You are a garter snake. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.